What is going on guys? X Adam Lee X and I am here in the snow slash rain. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell but like I can't really see like well I can see perfectly fine. It's just like sort of like a fog but I think it's like more of a mist I guess you can call it. Uh, it's sort of raining or snowing. I can't really tell what it was. Uh, it felt like snow when I walked outside but I mean, it's not sticking, so it might be um, rain, I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, today was one of them days where I really wish I could just get out and ride. Um, pretty much the reasoning for that is um, people are just idiots and... I don't know, they, I don't know, it's just, don't really want to go on too much about it, but, oh man, it, yeah, it sucked, and I was thinking, like, the whole day, like, man, if only I had my bike, uh, I'd be able to just, well, actually, it wouldn't even really matter today, because the snow and everything, but, talking about, like, uh, if it was a little hotter out, just go out for a joy ride, um, I feel like that's a huge reason, like, for motor, not for motorcycles, but, like, to me, whenever I rode, like, it was really calming, and it's like a big stress reliever, I guess you could say. Uh, some people go to alcohol, some people go to cigarettes, smoking, whatnot. Uh, I just would rather have a good ride on the bike. Uh, hopefully... In about a month, I'm thinking about getting it on my 21st birthday, uh, the WR250. And then I got into a sort of not like a little debate with this dude at my work who said, pretty much, if I get the WR250, that like since I'm gonna be riding it pretty much like you guys see in my vlogs, I drive on the highway a lot because I gotta take the highway to work. And um, he's pretty much saying with the 250, it's pretty much not really going to be capable of doing it. Uh, so that sort of like makes me think that maybe it would suck to have a 250 again. And um, I don't know. I'm, I've been thinking about it because I really do want the two, WR250 for riding and off-roading. And then he proved another point. Like, I live near Chicago sort of in like the suburbs so would not when I'd be able to like well I wouldn't really be able to ride off-roading without breaking the law is pretty much what he was saying and uh, I don't know it'd be hard to really find a spot that I would be able to ride it off-road all the time and whatnot so that sort of sucks um, but then again, uh, me and my girlfriend are thinking about and hoping <laughs> to move out to California in the future. So uh, I'm debating if I buy the WR250 this year or if I just hold off another year. Uh, man, I really want to start motor vlogging some more again. I mean, when I had my other ninja I couldn't really motor vlog because I didn't have the mic adapter uh, to do it but I had I, like ordered the mic adapter right before my accident so I have everything ready to go out and motor vlog and I really want to I loved riding but there's still that question in my mind is like should I wait another year because if I go out and get a get the bike I won't have enough to pay cash for it. I'd have to get another loan for it. And, uh, I don't know if I should do that again, which, thinking about it, I would, I wouldn't have this car loan. So, if I can afford a pretty expensive car loan, um, because I got a two-year loan. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I would be able to handle like uh, 
a short, or not a shorter, like a less amount loan or whatever. I don't know. You guys get what I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't know if I should do that or if I should save for another year. And then another question that's going through my mind right now is, should I get a WR250? Like, I was, I had my mind set on it until pretty much you made a point that, like, a little dirt, well, not a little dirt bike, but a dirt bike, then commuting back and forth 25 miles, pretty much all highway, um, it wouldn't really be practical. Uh, he's pretty, they're, everybody's pretty much uh, telling me I should just go with, like, a R6 or, like, a 600 uh, CC bike, but the thing about that is, I just totaled the bike, and I have an expensive uh, sports car. Not expensive, but like uh, monthly insurance expensive uh, sports car. So I don't want to be going crazy with the 600 sports bike, and then a Nissan 350Z sports car. Uh, yeah, and being 20 years old, so. I'd pretty much be screwed on insurance payments, so I don't really know about that. Ah, man, it's just frustrating. I wish I could hit the lotto, but, you know, I don't even play the lotto, so, you know, that's out of the question. Um, and I'm really hungry. I don't know why I randomly thought about that. But, yeah, today, uh, I'm pretty much just rambling on right now. So, uh, I'm going to catch you guys later. Uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.